Hey folks, my name is Ben Thomas and welcome to the channel. Today I wanted to give a little behind the scenes documentation on building my own guitar isolation cabinet. In the last few years, I was using my HX Stomp quite a bit and getting pretty good results, but I never quite loved it as much as I wanted to. There's just so many options and details and menus and I just kind of got frozen a lot and ended up spending way too much time trying to dial in the sound and not actually playing what I wanted to play. In an ideal world, I would just use my amp and a microphone and be done. But I live in an apartment and with the nice neighbors that live below me, I wanted to, you know, keep things good. So I went out looking for some kind of solution and decided to build my own using a DJ rack case. So you may have seen these before. Oftentimes it's what a DJ will wheel in with all of their different hardware and CD players and laptop stand and etc. And I found a really good deal on one on Craigslist for 40 bucks. So I said, I'll give this a shot. Here it is from beginning to end and lots of sound samples so you can hear what it sounds like both in the room and record it. The cab that I had on hand is one that I've used for a few years now doing live performances. It's about 15 by 15 and it's made of all pine by a cab builder by the name of Tim Metzger. And it came with an Eminence Tonker Light speaker, 12 inches. So the DJ rack case is just big enough for this cab to fit inside of it. But the case itself is just a big hollow wooden box. So I then also got some 3M adhesive strips and some foam panels from Amazon so I could try to dampen the inside of the DJ case. I also had some harder foam acoustic panels that I stacked and put on the bottom to give a little more dampening. The microphone stand is made by Samson and it's a little shorter than your standard mic stand so it fit nicely but still had room to move the mic where it needed to go. And then once the case was fully lined with the foam, the cab just slipped right in. And the microphone I'll be using is a Sennheiser 906. And now the big question, what is the amp? If you get this right, I will be truly shocked. But take a guess and leave a comment. All right, well, if you said PV, you're a winner. And you get extra credit if you say a blues classic by PV. So, enough talking, let's hear this thing in action.
after getting some pretty good results, the one thing I wanted to fix were the bass frequencies coming from the isolation cabinet while playing. In the room, it could be kind of woofy and a little overwhelming. So I stole this idea from a YouTube comment of suspending the guitar cab inside the case. I went to a dollar store and got a dog collar and some craft rope and fashioned this up. So now the guitar cabinet is floating inside of the isolation cabinet. So the next recordings are going to be going back and forth with a camera mic so you can hear what it sounds like in the room. Alright, well if you've made it this far, I'm pretty impressed. Thank you for watching today, and please hit the like and subscribe button. There'll be many more videos coming out this year, going over guitar lessons, and songs, and gear. So, until next time.